How's it going, everybody? So we're back talking some more Agatha All Along on the channel, episode 6. It's been a pretty long week as far as waiting for this next episode, because after everything that we saw, the madness that unfolded in episode 5, between Agatha's trial, Alice dying trying to save Agatha, but most of all, the cliffhanger ending, the big reveal, I guess, technically, that teen is actually Wiccan, aka Billy Maximoff. So after that kind of big reveal, I couldn't wait to see what comes next with the story. Firstly, I definitely have to say, after how absurdly short the last episode was, it very very much was appreciated that this was a much beefier episode, 50 minutes long. If only all the episodes were this long, I think the show would be even better, especially because we are fleshing out so much backstory in episode 6 involving Billy Kaplan, aka Billy Maximoff. It was very interesting to learn that not only did Billy Kaplan meet Lilia before the road, we finally got the reveal that she was the one that put the sigil on Billy after all this time, after seeing him and his lifeline being broken in the two. That isn't even the only person that Billy met before going on the road because blink and you missed it if you didn't realize he also met alice after his car crash well, it was very implied early on that billy inhabited this kid's body when they crashed in eastview i'm continuing to love how the story in agatha all along is intersecting with the events from wandavision i mean we even get to see the hex once again hearing billy and tommy's voices when billy inhabits billy kaplan's body and then for good measure i don't know if you guys heard this or not but it sounded like wanda was on the radio it sounded like she was saying stuff from wandavision it makes you wonder if only Wanda knew about all of this stuff while she was going on that mission trying to save them back in Multiverse of Madness. One of the best parts of this episode in exploring Billy's backstory was the all-around surreal nature of seeing Billy adjust to this new life view with having this new body. I couldn't imagine being in a new body for three whole years and having absolutely no idea who the hell I am. To the point where you're doing full-on investigations to try and piece everything together. And when I tell you when Billy and his boyfriend go to investigate and learn more from this secretive figure, I had full-blown WandaVision PTSD flood over me all again when Ralph Boner was the shady person Billy goes to to learn about what happened with Wanda and Westview. God, I mean, to this day, I'm still a little bit bitter on that Quicksilver reveal that this whole entire time it was Ralph Boner. Don't get me wrong, however, it was kind of cool to see his perspective on everything and all the horrors that were inflicted upon him by Agatha. Nevertheless, what a fun way to connect all the dots for the backstory of Billy, along with seeing his perspective of the early events of the show. When he's trying to track down Agatha in Westview, I think the funniest thing about this research scene that apparently Agatha actually was the real Jolene, the one from the very famous Dolly Parton song. That's on top of the humorous aspect of seeing the reality of everything going on in Westview while Agatha is inside the hex, because she has no idea that all this stuff around her isn't real. Her gun holster has a garden hose in it. After we speculated a lot last week on how exactly or when exactly Agatha knew that Billy was Billy this entire time. I guess from pretty much the very beginning, she had this sneaking suspicion that he was Billy, and he showcased his powers and kind of proved it to Something her. Something going forward I am really excited about for these last few episodes is the shifting dynamic changing between Billy and Agatha. I can't wait to see how it all plays out now that the cat's out of the bag, because Agatha in general doesn't play by the rules as it is, and Billy doesn't have a full grasp on how to use his powers, and as many of these witches know, it is not a good idea to trust Agatha Harkness in any shape or form, but they have to come together and forcibly go down the road together because they need each other. They both get what they want at the end of the road. Agatha obviously wants power and it seems like to me that Billy wants to get his brother Tommy back after all this so I wonder if we're going to get to see a Tommy reveal by the end of the season or we're going to get some sort of setup for the Vision Quest show because I have a feeling that probably that's going to tie in with all of this stuff. But now for my thoughts on the episode make sure you share your thoughts down below. What did you think of episode 6 of Agatha all along? Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? Share all your thoughts down below. If you have any theories where you think we're going to go in the next episode share those as well. Thank you guys. As always, checking out videos. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel to update reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.